我的家乡中国陕西省，就位于古丝绸之路的起点。站在这里，回顾历史，我仿佛听到了山间回荡的声声驼铃。看到了大漠飘飞的袅袅孤烟，这一切让我感到十分的亲切。Shanxi is located at the geographic center of China. With an area spanning more than 200,000 square kilometers. Shanxi is home to 39 million people. It is not only the starting point of the historical Silk Road, but also an important cradle of Chinese civilization. It was where the ancient Chinese civilization started to reach out to the rest of the world. The provincial capital city of Xi'an. Served as the capital city of China for 1,180 years. Many highly influential historical events in Chinese history took place here. Over 2,000 years ago, a Shanxi-born young man named Zhang Qian departed from Chang'an, as Xi'an was then known. And embarked on a challenging westward journey, which lasted for over a decade. He was the trailblazer of the Silk Road, an international corridor connecting Asia with Europe, thereby opening the door of China to the outside world and connecting the East and the West. The city of Chang'an in the Han Dynasty. Was China's first metropolis. It enjoyed the same status as ancient Rome, hence the expression "Chang'an in the East" and "Rome in the West." During the Tang Dynasty, Chang'an became a glamorous global center of trade and culture. And was the first city in the world to have a population of one million. Countless foreign students, businessmen, and envoys visited the city. Former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger once said that Shanxi was a great place to get to know Chinese culture and history. Shanxi straddles both the Yangtze River and the Yellow River. The Qinling Mountains, which serve as the watershed between the Yangtze and the Yellow River, are a natural boundary between northern and southern China. They have been called a kingdom of flora and fauna. And have received the 83rd prestigious Gift to the Earth Award from the World Wildlife Fund. The Weihe River, the largest branch of the Yellow River, nourished the earliest Chinese civilizations. The Weihe Plain is a major producer of commodity grain, earning it the nickname "the Land of Plenty." The Hanjiang River is the largest branch of the Yangtze River. It provides a water source of high quality for Beijing and Tianjin, in the middle route of China's South to North Water Diversion Project. The region provides an ideal environment to grow grains, oil, and tea. 
Northern Shanxi has an abundance of natural resources and is a high-end energy and chemical industrial base in China. Shanxi's development vision is to advance green energy and build a green and ecological living environment for its people. The transformation of northern Shanxi has converted the nearby Gobi Desert into a region surrounded by clear waters, pushing green and habitable areas 400 kilometers into what was previously arid desert. Situated at the center of the country, Shanxi can easily connect all parts of China. It is home to seven national-level high-tech industrial development parks, five national economic and technological development parks, and China's only agricultural high-tech industrial demonstration park. 77 of the world's top 500 companies have invested in 114 projects in Shanxi. Korea's Samsung has established the world's most advanced flash memory chip project in Xi'an. Micron Technology from the US set up the world's largest semiconductor manufacturing and encapsulation testing base here. Shanxi has more than 100 colleges and universities, producing over 300,000 graduates every year. Attracted by this proliferation of talent, a large number of enterprises have invested in Shanxi. The Yanliang district of Xi'an hosts China's largest high-tech aviation industrial base. Shanxi is also known as the home of aerospace development in China. In many people's eyes, if you haven't seen Shanxi, then you haven't seen China. Shanxi is not only a world-famous tourist destination, but has also become the gateway of China's opening up to the outside world. Since China implemented its policy of reforming and opening up, over 200 world leaders from all corners of the globe have visited Shanxi. Shanxi has concluded 83 agreements with sister cities from 33 other countries and regions. With the revitalization of the Silk Road economic belt, the Silk Road has once again become a golden corridor linking Central Asia with Europe. The establishment of the Shanxi Free Trade Zone in 2017 has opened up a new model for economic cooperation and cultural exchanges between inland China and the countries along the Belt and Road. Charming Shanxi, which is the starting point of the Silk Road, welcomes you with the values of openness and inclusiveness that have stood firm for more than 1,000 years.